I'm Nick and this is Callum. Uh, I'd like to talk to you about um, SB Rail plant for electrification. Uh, Swatelsky Babcock Rail was established in 2004 and is a successful joint venture between Swatelsky, who are one of Austria's leading construction companies operating over 400 OTMs across Europe and Australia, and Babcock, who are a, a worldwide uh, provider of engineering services. But in uh, the rail division in the UK, we provide track renewals, on track machines, signaling, telecoms projects work and um, yeah and, and not in the too dim and distant past uh, electrification works as part of ABC electrification. Um, uh, we operate in uh, various locations throughout Great Britain, um, offices in Reading, Glasgow, Hamilton and uh, on-track machine maintenance depots and further offices in uh, Guy Bridge in Manchester and Rutherglen in Glasgow. Uh, we have a history of uh, introducing various first-to-type equipment to the rail industry. Um, about the time I joined the rail industry in 1997, we introduced the first uh, mobile flashbook welding machine, the APT500L, um, which had extensive use following the Hatfield rail crash, uh, where a rail welding depot was set up at Rutherglen in Glasgow. As part of uh, high output track renewals, we uh, we introduced the R900 ballast cleaner, which is the first high output ballast cleaning machine uh, introduced into the UK, uh, and also the P95 track renewal train from the teaser. Um, <coughs> testing and commission of both those systems was undertaken on the Swandy district line and um, working out of a, a depot set up at Taunton. Uh, in support of those uh, high output systems, we introduced the 093X dynamic tamping machine, which is a three sleeper tamping machine with dynamic track stabilization. Uh, we also uh, introduced the um, AFN 2000's auto finishing machine, which is a, like a, a giant ballast regulator uh, with a larger hopper, uh, integrated DTS, and has the ability to scan ballast levels. Uh, and also uh, a system on uh, some of our tamping machines called Sprinter, uh, which allows independent geometry corrections to be applied to each rail, enabling the correction of localized geometry defects without affecting track geometry uh, for the rest of the uh, the rest of the uh, the line, uh, it's a kind of replacement for Kango packing, but far more accurate and, and beneficial. Thanks, Nick. So, in 2013, uh, SBL introduced the first 09 4x4 tamper, which is a dynamic, uh, continuous action plain line and SNC tamper with DTS capability, and. Uh, today we now, we now have six of these in the UK. Uh, we then went on, uh, we, we now also do high speed one maintenance with uh, two Austrian machines which come over once a year for the, the campaigns in, in that area. So that's the 0932 4S which is it's, uh, similar to the 09 4x4 in that it can do plain line and S&C in a continuous action with DTS, but it also has the added capability of uh, shoulder consolidation. Uh, both of these machines are slightly bigger than the standard W6A gauge for the UK, which the rest of our fleet uh, tend to uh, fit within. Uh, so they don't go any further than high speed one in the UK. And lastly, uh, the Kirov 250. Uh, we have four of these in our fleet. And this is instrumental to the electrification works that we undertake in conjunction with the rotor head for these cranes. Uh, so that's, that's the four cranes. Three are of one type, and then the most recent one introduced uh, just a couple of years ago is slightly different in that it has an extended counterweight to reduce axle loads. Uh, so I'm just going to play a short video to show the capabilities of these cranes, including what they can be used for for electrification. Swatelsky Babcock Rail has developed the Kirov KRC250 Multitasker Rail Crane into a truly multidiscipline machine with a series of innovative attachments. Currently, SB Rail operates four of these rail cranes across the United Kingdom. The robot arm is unique to SB Rail. 
It's an ingenious device attached to the end of the crane's boom. It operates through hydraulically controlled pivots, providing complete control of tilt, rotation, inclination, longitudinal and vertical placement of loads. The KRC500S or Tandem Tensioning System enhances track renewals by combining two cranes. This creates one twin jib rail mounted crane capable of lifting a switch and crossing panel up to 41 and a half tons whilst working with the adjacent line open. Because of the robot arm, working under minimum overhead wire height of 4.2 meters is trouble free. The crane can lift out track panels up to 60 foot in length, either over the buffers or from the adjacent track. The operation is under the total control of the crane operator and requires no intervention during lifting and loading operations by any other site operative. The design of the beam is such that the load is kept stable and level, ensuring placement is accurate and precise. The sleeper automatic relaying beam has been specifically designed as a genuine one-man operation to pick up and lay sleepers up to 28 at a time, far exceeding any other on-track plant option available. The beam is enabled by the unique robot arm and is a truly self-contained multi-purpose renewal system with an output of up to 320 meters per hour. Another development is the provision of high output piling after converting the crane, the robot arm is combined with a driving unit to form a powerful and versatile system, capable of installing up to 20 piles in a typical night shift and up to 50 piles in longer weekend possessions. The piles can be driven up to 10 meters away from the track, far exceeding on-track plant options. The cranes are suited to undertake a variety of structural works. Higher power, reach and versatility increase productivity and improve safety. Benefits include access and planned lifts in difficult locations, truly multi-lift capabilities from gantries to signalling cabinets. SB Rail. Two companies, one team. So as you've seen from the animation there, uh, using the Movax piling unit in conjunction with the robot arm allows the Kirov cranes to select piles from uh, specially designed racks that go with the two support wagons that, that come with it. And they, this can carry up to 33 piles within possessions. Uh, the system can be used ALO, uh, the, the Kirov cranes have a virtual barrier which prevent it from over slewing uh, and although in the, the animation there it said 10 meters reach that's uh, free in wheels but it can actually reach up to 16 meters uh, using its outriggers which means that even on a four track section you can reach both sides of the track to install piles. Um, as well as the Movax piling unit um, there can be, the crane can be used in conjunction with a larger piling hammer. Uh, the majority of piles can be fully installed using just the Movax uh, piling unit in my experience, but if there are some uh, stubborn piles then we can utilise this as well. Both of these systems are compatible with different pile diameters, 610 and 762 diameter piles. 
and this has been proven on site. So the, the maximum single pile length we've installed is uh, eight meters. Uh, and if you're working from within a possession to start with, you can carry 33. If you need a locomotive, it can carry um, 27, just because of limitations on the loading capacity. Uh, another feature of the MOVAC and using it in conjunction with the, the robot arm is the installation precision. Uh, this, this pendulum system that has been developed in use with the crane allows the operator from within the cab to see if it's within tolerance in two dimensions so that the, the piles are being installed vertically. And so if it's, if it's out with a certain tolerance, the red lights eliminate, and once the operator has them both within the correct tolerance, both green lights eliminate. And this prevents an operator needing to be on the ground to, and be close to, to the, the moving parts of the crane. So the exclusion zone can be maintained. This is just a, another short video. Uh, it's a, a time lapse from one of our sites that we've used this on. So usually we would start a, a shift with the racks fully loaded with piles. But this, this video shows that you can reload it mid-shift uh, on, on site relatively quickly using with a, well, the assistance here from a, a road trailer and then travel to the piling locations relatively easily. Um, so the most efficient way of using the, the system on site is to have a straight run of piles instead of moving between di uh, different locations spread out along a site. But these first two piles that we'll show you in the time lapse show that it's just a two track section here but it can reach both si sides of the track as I mentioned before, even if it was a four-track section, you'd still be able to, to reach the, the opposite cess. Uh, you can see a full uh, the video at our, our stand in the foyer later, if you'd like. You want to talk about this? Yeah. Um, yeah, so as seen from the, the previous video, the, the curves are capable of installing uh, over headline gantries. There's a photograph there. Uh, the main benefits are the um, you have higher lifting capacity at 25 tonnes. Uh, the most recent crane has a, a slightly higher capacity than that. Um, they have a greater reach. They reduce the numbers of people on site and machines required on site to reduce the human-machine interface, uh, which has a, an overall impact of improving safety. Uh, so this is another innovation from SBRL, which was de developed a few years ago. It's uh, the mast, mast lifting clamp. It utilizes a ram which fully extends through the hole in the end of the web on the, the, the mast. And this allows the crane to lift the mast. It won't allow the operator to release the mast unless it detects that there's no load on the end of the jib. So it must be either... Uh, lay flat on the ground or positioned vertically on top of its base. Uh, this has been passed out through Network Rail product acceptance and has a, has a safe working load of 2,000 kilograms. So if there's any questions, uh, we're just going to go to Q&A, but we've also got our stand in the foyer if you have any more questions. Thanks. <laughs>